Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I'm just going to do a quick little explanation of how I use a keyword research tool to help me pick um, specific titles for the Squidoo lenses that I want to make. And I'm going to start out by just talking about one of my pages I made on Squidoo. It's called 50 Craft Ideas for Adults. And basically, when I had the idea for this page, I wanted to make a crafts page. Um, but I didn't know specifically really what I wanted to write about until I started doing some keyword research. And what I found out was I could make kind of a, a page that talked about a lot of different crafts um, and call it Craft Ideas for Adults. Because once I actually started researching it, I found that there were so many really cool pages already on Squidoo that I wasn't going to be able to add anything else um, from my expertise because I'm really not that great at crafts, although I love them. Um, I didn't have anything else more to add, so I thought it would be better just to make a page that talked about all these different craft ideas. And what I did is actually link to um, a whole bunch of other Squidoo lenses by using the featured lens model, and I basically just highlight all these different featured lenses on Squidoo. To how I picked my title, um, well, first of all, let's talk about the traffic on my page. So this is the stats from my dashboard from the Craft Ideas for Adults page. And you can see right here, um, I have 883 visits in the past 30 days. That's the traffic I get to my page. I made this on January 3rd, and um, this has taken on about February 6th. So it's about a month's worth of data, or it's about a month old, but it is the first 30 days here. Got 883 visits. We're into those traffic stats. My number one keyword that's getting the most traffic is craft ideas for adults, and it's getting 146 visits. That's what it got in the past 30 days. And that is actually my main keyword that I used on my page. Um, my URL and my title and also the first couple lines of my introduction. And how I picked this phrase was I use a keyword research tool called Jaxi and what it is is uh, it has a monthly membership fee but then you can just log on to your account and you can use it to help you pick the proper keywords that it thinks you have a good opportunity to get on the first page of Google. Again, you type in whatever keyword you want to search for and I always do the exact search I just think it's more accurate with how much traffic you're actually going to get and I typed in craft ideas for adults and here it is down here and it gives me this whole list of other ideas that kind of go along with that same um, phrase and it'll tell me how many people are searching for that phrase in Google per month. Now this is the exact search results. If I changed this up here to be broad it would be a lot more. But I just find that I get better more accurate numbers when I use exact. So craft ideas for adults there's more than 4,000 people a month that search for that specific keyword phrase. Now what this column here tells me the second column the estimated traffic this is what you can estimate that your traffic is going to be if you're on the first page of Google. Now what I found with these numbers is if you're the number one or two um, listings on the Google search results, your traffic's probably going to be more than this. However, if you're at the bottom of the page of one page results of the first page of Google, I think it's going to be lower than this. So this is just an average, but it can give you a good idea of you know, does this keyword have enough traffic for you to to use? Is it worthwhile for you to write a page on it? And I always write about what I want to write about, but then I'll use the keyword research tool to help me pick a specific wording that gets traffic over another wording that maybe doesn't get any traffic. For example, if I would have named my page you know, something that just said like arts crafts ideas that has a lot lower search volume than specifically what I called mine, which was craft ideas for adults. 
Now this third column here gives you an indication of how many other pages on Google have the same keyword phrase in their URL and in their title. So it's basically the competing websites. So what this tells you is, like if I would have chosen to go after the keyword just art crafts right here, look at all these other pages in competition that have um, that are using that keyword. Or just arts and crafts ideas. So that's pretty general. Arts and crafts ideas, which has decent traffic, but the competing websites, there's 235,000 other competing websites. So there's like no way that I'm going to write a page and it's just going to show up on the first page of Google, which means I'm not going to get traffic to my page. And then, you know, there's no nobody going to see my the page I made. But if I name it Craft Ideas for Adults, and in my case, specifically what I said was 50 Craft Ideas for Adults, um, then I can get traffic for that. Now, this keyword research tool is really easy because it just gives you a visual indication right here with a green dot or a red dot. There's also a yellow dot, which is in the middle. If it's a green dot, what that means is <coughs> the traffic compared to the number of competing websites, it's pretty good. So you have a good chance of getting on the first page of Google with this keyword. So what I try to do is I look at, okay, what are the green dots? What are the phrases I can use? And how much traffic is it giving me? And then I pick one of the phrases that not only has a green dot, but also has a good amount of traffic. And then that's how I pick what I'm going to put in my URL of my Squidoo page what is going to be in the title and also I include it in the, the first couple sentences of the intro model and the tags. And I just search for the topic I want to write about and I just keep looking through these and keep searching until I find something that looks like it has good numbers. And I do that before I ever make the Squidoo page. So before you ever even click the button create a lens, you want to do this because you want to make sure you get your keywords into your URL when you pick what your URL is going to be for your page. All right, thanks for joining me. Actually, on the next one. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye.